the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has arrested the former chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue Service, Babatunde Fowler, over an alleged 5 billion naira fraud perpetrated under his watch. Fowler, a long-time ally of the national leader of the All Progressives Congress, Ashiwajibola Metinumbu, is currently being interrogated at the Lagos office of the EFCC. Fowler was sacked by President Muhammad Buhari in 2019 after a query for worsening tax revenues since 2015. He was also accused of a lavish lifestyle, bankrolling extravagant parties and concerts in Lagos, poor corporate governance structures at the FIRS, poor audits at the FIRS, high-handedness in office, diversion of funds, brazen corruption and awarding contracts to stooges and cronies. Okay. <laughs> I think this is one of the men that uh, Tinumbu put forward, you know, this way, one of the men that uh, they use in compensating Tinumbu for all that he has done. A lot of them like that. Even Wiz Banere, all the Tinumbu boys, you know, they are men, of course, you know, because of uh, what they want to eat, they begin to make themselves like a uh, small, small boys. So they call them Tinumbu boys, they call them Abacha boys, all of those uh, men that are supposed to be controlling their own empire because of uh, greed, because of what they want to eat, they always refer them to them as boys of this uh, political uh, big weeks. This whole thing, you know, it was after the 2019 elections. That was when <laughs> it done on Tinumbu and his men. They started sidelining all of them. They removed all of them. I think uh, Moise Banire, you know, I think uh, it was, I don't know whether it's T, but I said, when I checked last, it was the um, lawyer, APC lawyer or whatever, the barrister to APC. So at some point, they gave him another appointment at Amcom, whatever. I don't think it's up to, it was up to a year before they even, they remove him totally. And again, it's a typical example. Even this uh, this uh, man, Fowler, uh, we used to hear that uh, he, he, he has been friend with even the vice president, their colleagues, because we could see their pictures when they were really young. They were, they've been together for a very long time. So these are the things that we talk about, you know, let them go and settle themselves at the, you know, at court if it's innocent until proven guilty. So at the end of the day, because it's the same thing when the issue of a corruption allegation against uh, the vice president then when they were talking about all this, uh, what do they call it, the, all this uh, uh, programs they are doing here and there, all this uh, social investment program or social whatever, whatever, you know, they left, they removed all of those uh, portfolios from the vice president and gave it to this uh, woman that is there, uh, Sadia Humar uh, Farouk. So they've been... You've been here. Uh, there have been a lot of talks here and there, corruption here and there. You know, this man talked about the corruption that it was because of this man. This uh, FIRS, they talked about it that uh, the vice president was having an hand or whatever, that they were disbursing money and what have you. And people said, no, 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 no. I think uh, this man that was a uh, part of a spokesperson of a uh, APC, this uh, Frank, Frank, I've forgotten his second name, you know, he was the one accusing, accusing the vice president. When he said, oh, the vice president said he was going to sue him. And he said, he sued me. And up to today, they have not been able to sue the man. So there's this uh, kind of a relationship, all these talks here and there, trying to release everything together with the vice president. You know, they were trying to say, oh, uh, he's part of the people who are corrupt and all of that. Of course, they could not even find that. You know that uh, if you are part of them, if you are still in their book, uh, good book, nothing will happen because all your sins will be forgiven. This Fowler is one of a... Uh, Tinubu's men. Now they've removed all of them. They've removed all of them. The vice president, all the portfolios he was handling, they removed him from there. So he's just floating now and he cannot even say anything. So now maybe they're coming back to this man. Whether he did it or not, let them go and say to that. But the only thing they did that time was to relieve him of his job. And at that particular time, they were telling us that his tenor had ended. So it was not as if the president removed him. But now we are hearing that he was being removed because they said, oh, they didn't want to. He was supposed to be reappointed maybe for the first tenor, but for the second tenor, he couldn't. And because they were talking, saying all manner of things, because they were saying there was were, there were some kind of money that they were involved in it you know it's still all about corruption but now we are hearing the whole thing now so what do we call this so all of those people who are always talking about ah, our our region oh we have been producing uh presidents we have been producing whatever we know how to play politics i see at the end of the day i see the people who know how to play politics see what they are doing to you 
It is all about uh, these uh, so-called big wigs. If they are able to get one position or the other, that is all they are talking about. They will use it to get the vote. And by the time you are supposed to get the dividends of the democracy, they begin to give them all of them positions here and there. I'm just trying to digress because the main thing now is that they are accusing him that AFCC has arrested him based on this. So they should go and say to themselves. But at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is that if we can really have that consciousness, if we can really have that uh, mindset that these people are not there because of us. I could remember as soon as the president uh, was sworn in, he, he reminded, the, the, the Buhari reminded whether Kaduna State or Kano or Kaduna State, either of the two states, he was telling them, oh, I have fulfilled my promises. I've given you uh, I've, I, I've given three appointment ministers. Three ministers are coming from your from your from your state. Either of those two states, Kaduna or Kano, either of these two. States. And I was just wondering. So those people that you have given appointment, they are going to be smiling to the banks. Then what is the 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 dividends of democracy that the people are going to be getting? No, it is all about we've given your people appointment. That's it. That is the kind of politics they are playing, and people don't want to get it. And people will continue to be supporting and continue to be defending these people. They do not have your interest at heart. They are looking for your vote, and at the end of the day, they will just sweep you, you know, sweep you at this, uh, uh, at one corner. Everybody is uh, uh, suffering this whole thing that they have caused. See now, you see. Everybody is, is suffering it. Everybody is affected. So what do we call this? Now, those who know how to play policies, because that is what they say. They are the ones who always tell us, oh, these people do not know how to play policies. They, who is not playing policies? Who are the people who are the beneficiaries of these policies they have been playing? It is the same, same uh, this, uh, demons and demons, principalities and demons all over the place in the, in the, in the, in the form of human beings. At all levels, in all the states, you see them there. They are one united family, these politicians. And the same masses will still be defending them. Those people who do not love you, who are not sensitive to your plight, and you are going to be defending them. And once you, they see that people are beginning to get that awareness, people want to start stand up a stand up to them. They will begin to look for all manner, all means just to silence people. Okay. Now, let them go and judge their case. Every every now and then corruption year and then year and then year and then year. And then. Let him come and defend himself because if it's going to be other people now, they'll say, "Oh, the enemies of the whatever they are, the ones behind it." But within them, they say, "Not nah, dog, they hit the dog." When they when they continue to hit themselves, when they continue to they chop themselves because that is what they have created in this country. One cannot boast of a three a, a three square meal a day. No. And they will be telling you that uh, some people that those who are looting those not, not that they are really looting. You know, they, they can try to be politically correct. Oh, you cannot be justifying people who are looting, but the ones that are looting the real money, they are working on the street freely. People are dying of hunger. Now, the people, they are not concentrating on the people who have gone to take all those palliatives, but those who, who, who ordered the palliatives, what are they going to do about it? Nobody's talking anything about them. So guys, leave your comment below and let us know your thoughts on this. Thank you.